Hi friends, welcome back. If you are one of the ones that are wondering, how do I navigate the Japanese store? I don't know where things are. I'm lost. I just want to go pick up some of the essential things that I mentioned in my video in the last one, which was the Japanese essential ingredients video um, that is above. It's also in the link descriptions. But I'm going to walk you through one of the Japanese stores I like to go to. It is called Marukai. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Amy and I speak authentically about motherhood and passing on Japanese culture to my kids, being real with our struggles. And if you want to join our journey, I would love to have you hit that subscribe button, hit that alert bell so that you know when I release something new. So with that, let's go shopping. And here we are, let's make our way in. Let's walk in and I like how they have all the sales items for people like me that like sale items. But I'm gonna grab a basket since I'm not intending to buy a lot so I don't need a cart. Definitely see candy right away, which if I had kids, that would be a draw. Oh, and look at the Ampamban down here and the tiger and oh, these little egg ball candies or crackers take me back on all these candies take me back to my childhood days when I didn't eat as well apparently or it might have just been treats periodically but let's start in the produce section because produce is good for us right and so it's probably pretty similar to other produce sections but this is where we'd find all our fresh veggies and look at this cute arrangement up above but we have our veggies and then <gasps> edamame. We definitely need some of these because my whole family loves edamame. It's just a great appetizer to have on hand in the freezer. Natto, you know how I made that video. And then now here's oodles of noodles, yakisoba noodles, which are pan fried noodles that I make, like easy things to cook here. And then anything pickled is here and umeboshi is here. So dried plums, different variations, kimchi, really anything pickled in a jar. We have our tofu section or soy product section and miso. If you need miso soup and now look at that, there's the koji, there's dry koji and then there's pre-made shiokoji and liquid shiokoji. And this is konnyaku. But I want to take a look at this shiokoji. This is the pre-made kind, and I guess that's how it looks when they make it. Mine is a little thicker, but maybe I should leave it a little longer. And there's a liquid one. I didn't even know there was a straight-up liquid shiokoji. Now we're going to the meat section. There's thin sliced meat for shabu-shabu. Oh, and all kinds of other chicken, pork, beef, whatever you may want. And then this is the seafood section. And a lot of things are frozen over here, but they also have some fresh stuff. And look, if you need unagi, this is where you would find it. And then let's go into our pantry items. So in some of our essential ingredients, those would be found here. These are vinegars. I know I didn't talk about vinegars, but we definitely use many types of vinegar. So sushi vinegar, ponzu, that stuff would be here. And here's the soy sauces and the tsuyu. Uh, and here's the dashi stocks, powdered forms, dashi packs, the bonito flakes, that would be here. So anything you would use for dashis looks like it's here and salt or salt seasoning product. Then we move to the oils. We have sesame oil and other oils and other seasonings. Here is the seaweed section. So there's wakame, kombu, uh, nori seaweed. So those would be the main types of seaweed. I know I've talked about different kinds, but there's also the flavored seaweeds. The flavored nori, I should say, to be more specific. A lot of different kinds of flavored nori. Ajitsuke nori, as we call it. And here, I love these. I have to stock up on these. These are dry, freeze-dried tofus, and they're supposed to be extra nutritious. 
I am going to take four because we just love them. We can't get enough of them. And there's also the dried shiitake mushrooms, some noodles here. And here is the sushi section, the sashimi section, all kinds of different fish that you could use for your sushi party. Now we're hitting the miso soup section where there's different kinds of instant miso soup or things you can use for your soup, beans, and then you have things that you would mix into your rice. So there's the sushi rice seasoning. And if you want to make other kinds of um, fried rice or mabo dofu, that's where you'd find it. And now we've hit the mochi section, sweet mochi and red bean, and then the savorier mochi. I take mochi of any kind. Seems to be the flour section with tempura batter, different flours and panko breadcrumbs. And then on the other side, there's all sorts of Japanese curry cubes. So this is the roux. And there's also a white stew roux, Hayashi rice roux. Easy things to pour over rice. And then okonomiyaki flour mix. So there's so many different kinds, but this is just a sampling. And then some cor or potato starch. You know, different starches are here as well. And soybean flowers, some dessert mixes. The rows in between the aisles have some random things, sometimes snacks on sale, but now here is some of the teas, coffees. This side's anything rice seasoning, like furikake and ochazuke, which is seasonings where you put rice and green tea, but anything for onigiri. Oh, and these spicy chili garlic oils that are delicious, different kinds. And here is the noodle section. There's plain dried noodles like soba, udon, solmeng. And then on the other side of that is the cup noodles, the instant noodles. And then we've hit one of my favorite parts, which is the pre-made lunches or the bowls. Here's chirashi bowls. And then some sushi rolls and different bentos that are over here. The picking's actually kind of slim, but onigiri! I love the little pre-packaged onigiris in all different flavors with the little wrappers that you can easily take off. Katsu sando and instant boba packs! I have a video on that because I did try the O's brown sugar boba packs and it was delicious. Oh, and here's some ice cream and treats, different kinds of treats. You have puddings, cakes, and oh, I love this little steamed cheesecake, and so do my kids. I might try to make that myself, attempt it anyway. Different refrigerated manjus, little sweet mochis with filling. Different drinks are over here, including alcoholic drinks like beer. And Pokari Sweats, something that is a silly name, but a yummy drink. And some of those jelly drinks that my kids like. And then here's the alcohol section. Sakes, wines, all kinds of things. You'll see rice at the end of that, but here's some shochu and appliances because rice cookers. We can't live without rice cookers, right? And some pots and pans, other appliances, small appliances. All sorts of assortments of things sold in this store. And then you kind of have your um, tea, coffee related things, utensils, and other household items. And then we've come to the soaps and the body care, medicines. Who else saw the salampas? I know my parents had that in the drawers. And then we'll move on to the next one which has more of the beauty care type of things, face wash, soaps, all that. Um, here's some baby items and also I think some Hawaiian items. And then I think we're back in the snack section. So here's some sale snacks that are being advertised and then various snacks here, some rice crackers, chips type things. And, ooh, look at these. They're kind of little 
fish crackers and the shrimp crackers. Oh man, I ate so many of those as a kid. I used to love them. Tempting to buy to have my kids try, but I'm going to try to not get them this time. There's all kinds of rice crackers around here. We Japanese people love our rice crackers. and Oh, and who remembers Baby Star Ramen? Baby Star Ramen! Or as we used to say, or Karu, Kon Potage, Karamucho. Oh man, there's so many that I used to love. Tongari Kon and Karamel Kon. So there you have it. I walked you through the market. I picked up some things. I didn't stock up a ton like I normally do because I still had stuff, but I got the koji. As you can see, I kind of opened it because I'm thinking about making miso this time. I'm gonna bought one for shiokoji and I might make a miso with the other one. So I'm very excited about that. You know there's a video coming for that. And these, I know I pointed them out to you. These are the juicy tofu or koya tofu, as we say. These are so good, we love them. We call them juicy tofu because they get really juicy. And I bought four of these. I like the ones without the, the, the dashi packs in it because it has just, just a lot of stuff. I like to prefer, or I prefer to make my own soup broth to go with it. So I bought four of these. I'm only showing you two, but I stocked up. And I really like their eggs. Their eggs are super yellow and flavorful and I just like them. And so here they are. I bought a few of them. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, if you got any value out of this video, please subscribe, hit that alert button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.